When I was little, I was a quiet boy who liked to spend a lot of time alone. Most of my classmates at school would go outside to play football, basketball, just like ordinary kids do. But I would keep sitting on my chair in an empty classroom, writing down what I felt about my favorite storybook. It was like there was a private space just for me, covered with unseen glass. My parents and teachers were not happy about my introverted behavior. For them, kids are basically supposed to chat a lot and play all together because that is the key to making them social in order to become a successful leader. I was seen as an abnormal kid. My teachers pushed me never to stay alone and please be in a group, just like your friends out there. As a little boy, I got so overwhelmed by the pressure and even lost my confidence in myself. I struggled to conceal myself and try to take this stupid introversion away from me. I worked really hard. As I got in my 20s, I got a chance to teach young students in an educational program for a while. The event was not just about teaching school subjects such as Korean, math, natural science, but it was also about building personal relationships as mentors and mentees. I talked to myself, okay, this is going to be another big challenge for me as an introvert. Keep smiley face, keep smiley face, and keep talking, and never, ever do anything that makes me look like an introvert. I have to conceal myself in order to make this successful. So I tried really hard to look like a person full of joy and energy all the time, approaching as many students as I could, and even I made tons of jokes to make them fun. But you know, if somebody tries to act like another person, it looks that odd and unnatural. After all, I failed to get as much attention as I expected, and it was a total failure, I believed. Then I screwed up again. But one day, a few days after the program, I got a phone call from one of those students. She said on the phone, Oh, Mr. John, I have a confession to make to you. I haven't talked about this to anyone, including my family. Um, I got raped a year ago, and I haven't talked about this to anyone because I was totally ashamed and scared. Maybe you can be the one who can help me? I noticed her voice trembling in the deep grief and fear. I answered, Okay, thanks for being brave to tell me. I can do everything I can to help you out. But let me ask you one thing. You haven't told about this to anyone for a year, but I wonder what made you think that I'm the person to share your secret with? Then she said, Oh, it's because during the program, I could see that you were paying close attention to the every student all the time. I could see in your eyes that you were willing to take my words, every single of my words, with all your heart. That made me think that you are the person I can trust as my friend. This is my proudest story in my life that completely changed the way I see myself. My introverted personality would not make me successful as a great talker, but it makes me rather a great listener. This story of a girl who trusted me as a faithful man taught me a lesson that I definitely deserve to be proud of myself right now as an introvert who is always ready to lend my ears. Thank you so much.